Lord, we worship. Sade balanda pragatos kate prash kali kati priya hasada balada. Unto the King Immortal, Invisible, the Only Wise God. But the point is that I have been concerned at the kind and the quality of believers. Um, it's been my respectful contemplation and even my charge to the body of Christ that there needs to be an upgrade on the kind and the quality of believers that are produced in our churches and our Christian platforms if the banner of faith is to be preserved and to stand the test of time. Hallelujah. It matters the kind of believers that are produced. It matters the kinds of teachings. It matters the arrangement of the teachings. Hallelujah. You have heard me share for some of you who have followed our meetings and I have charged believers that in, in building in building people please listen this is true for ministry but it applies to every other aspect of life in building people you need to realize that when you have people around a church or any kind of ministerial platform if they do not encounter jesus the god of the bible there will be a lot of trouble there because anyone who has not submitted to the governing authority of the kingdom that person is a helpless prey in the hand of satan no matter how sincere that individual is are we together the effect of one spirit in the life of that individual can produce catastrophe that will destroy people so it matters that when people come to church that they encounter Jesus. This is not an issue of an evangelist sermon or perspective. The foundation for the believer's Christian experience is his encounter with Jesus. You can encounter a man of God and that becomes profitable only if Jesus is revealed through that encounter. Are we together now? There are several people in church who are not saved. They are not near the things of God. And it's wonderful provided your hearts are hungry and ready. Transformation takes time. Salvation does not take time. At the moment you are convicted of the spirit of God. You must be able to surrender your heart. Until the Holy Spirit is at work in you. The, the, the negative possibilities in your life cannot be defined. Are we together? So until we have believers who are willing or we have people I don't want to use the word congregants But it is important especially for we men and women of God In order of priority We must see to it that with every encounter There is an opportunity for people to know That the church is not just a spiritual place where Christians converge It's more than that Are we together? The epicenter of every Christian activity in church or any other place is Jesus. Jesus first. No matter how modern we become, no matter how sophisticated we become, and let me respectfully observe that this is the bless. This is one of the um, the issues with the Pentecostal charismatic movement. Now I, I'm not I, You know that I love the body of Christ But I'm just addressing it Because for many people They jump Jesus And go straight to power Miracles 
signs and wonders and so you find people who are fasting in church you find people who are praying in church you find people who are even speaking in tongues supposedly in church and you find out that they are around the atmosphere of charismatism but that foundational encounter with jesus is not there and sometimes because of you know they are being around spiritual things they can be appointed and they will be given spiritual responsibilities the danger is that their emphasis becomes their their experience becomes their emphasis if jesus was not the foundation of their experience jesus cannot be captured in what they are saying are we together now yes let me tell you the truth we are going to lose the potency of godliness generationally speaking if we bring jesus out take jesus out and leave power we are still in trouble take jesus out and leave wisdom we are still in trouble take jesus out and leave the bible we are still in trouble take jesus out and leave prayer we are still in trouble take jesus out and leave fasting we are in trouble the foundation for the believer's experience is jesus now there are many keys of the kingdom i hope we are learning already tonight there are many keys of the kingdom they represent the mysteries of the kingdom but there is only one key to the kingdom and that key is not a metallic object you turn left or right jesus himself the bible says there is no other there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved you will be surprised get an average believer random sample believers across several churches and ask them about jesus they will tell you about favor in an instant they will tell you about miracles in an instant and there's nothing wrong with that they will tell you about breakthrough in an instant how can i come out of this situation and say ah, i know the power of sacrifice let me see what you have sow a seed you are out But when you begin to ask them about Jesus, now that is the reason why there are many people who can dwell in the midst of people who are not saved under their care for many years and they never hear about Jesus. May I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that the faith life was founded upon Jesus. It was not founded upon a man of God. It was not founded upon a denomination. Are we together if people pile up in a church and they are not saved that church is not safe s-a-f-e because all kinds of trouble will emerge you you simply would have gathered bodies for satan to use there are many respectfully speaking there are many pastors plunging into depression today world over having all kinds of headaches wondering why is there trouble every time trouble I not there, there are all kinds of things that come with leadership generally but when jesus is not the epicenter of what you do and when he's not enthroned in the heart of the people who listen to you believe me you can spend 10 years and in one day the kind of trouble that the devil will ferment will almost break your heart and plunge you to death jesus the son of the living god so when a believer or when an individual comes he knows that the foundation listen if i call anyone right now i pick anyone and i say tell me about your spiritual journey you will be surprised our fathers and grandfathers both physically and in the faith there was something you know when we were growing up we used to hear people say they could recite the day they were saved do you recall that they can tell you i was saved on the 5th of october this they will even recall the event but as many people i'm not saying i'm not just talking about the religiosity of keeping the date but it was such a special moment for them they preserved it even after 30 years they will tell you it was a wednesday afternoon they will even tell you the message they had but you can call a gentleman right now and say listen you are the head of counseling and prayer talk 
to me a bit about your spiritual journey he said what does that mean i was appointed i've been around the house of god when the church said fast i fasted when the church said pray i prayed that person does not have a foundation it's not an insult there is serious trouble there because the day he now has authority and the mandate to mature and raise other believers he is going to teach them according to his faulty template are we together yeah. how can a father raise a responsible child to become a christian when the father himself does not know how to be a christian what is he going to tell the son you raise people to reflect your conviction and your experiences so follow carefully what i'm teaching tonight there are many people who have not encountered jesus christ the son of the living god now let's go to the second level there are those who are saved are we together but the opportunity has not been given to them to grow spiritually that is another danger again i don't mean to play with your mind we love our nation but how many of you know that nigeria produces for instance agriculturally and then our oil and gas but because largely we are not involved in refining that raw product does not bless us so much are we together it has to be exported refined and brought back and that finished product is what you queue for you don't queue for the dark paste of smelly oily substance that's not what you are packing your car for are we together when you park your car at the filling station it is still gas it's still your oil but it is not the version that left the earth that you are looking for that means there are many believers who get saved and do not submit themselves methodically to be discipled and to be mentored the word discipleship is a word that is gradually disappearing from the church or unfortunately in many platforms what we call discipleship is not maturing believers to look like christ it is maturing them to subscribe to the template of a denomination and sometimes that ends up destroying people again but according to scripture when you encounter jesus christ listen very carefully when you encounter jesus christ and that comes even by the spirit immediately you are introduced to the ministry of the holy spirit and you are introduced to the ministry of the word these are the principal tools that are responsible for your maturity you gain stature in the kingdom to the degree to which you subscribe to the dealings of the spirit what does the holy spirit do to you he makes you alive to christ that means all your organs that have been deadened by a life of sin and being alienated from christ there is a regeneration from the word regime a regeneration that happens to you hallelujah and now because you really cannot grow holistically in isolation i hope you know that god designed spiritual growth to be enhanced through community christian living that means it is difficult for an individual to grow holistically in isolation even when you read through church history those who had their experiences alone had the side effect of a lot of imbalances because they could not see anything they just saw a perspective and that was it so god's authorized platform for the believer's growth is that as the believer encounters jesus christ he is introduced listen carefully he's introduced to a a gathering a larger community of believers why is he introduced to the larger community of believers i'll be showing you later on but that he's now introduced to a community of believers that now begin to help him he or she will meet people who are of like minds number two it will grant the person the courage and the confidence to now begin the process of transformation because transformation is very powerful if it is done corporately are we together so let's say for instance from a life of sin you now became saved 
chances are excellent that if in isolation you will be so lonely you will not have the courage to walk in keeping with the truths that make for your transformation and chances are you will go back are we together but when you have believers just like you if you are the only one praying in tongues you have no friend you have nobody who prays with you the day the people you left see you they will make you feel stupid for that newfound life and chances are excellent that you will not have the courage to walk in keeping with the things that advance you spiritually so god surrounds you with like-minded people are we together now you begin to understand the culture of the kingdom there are many people who are saved but they have not submitted themselves to transformation the bible calls these people carnal the word carnal is not an insult the word carnal means that their impulses the everything they do is governed by their senses they are sensual in their approach emotional in their approach the day they feel like hating you and getting angry they vent it out they are the ones who tell you things like i'm like that or even my mother and my father everybody knows I can be angry any day you just get used to me and expect all these things that is a carnally minded person he is not an unbeliever but he's one who has not submitted to the authority and the transforming power of the word if we are together say amen, amen. are we together now unfortunately longevity in church does not automatically bring transformation i have drawn this again and again don't you make the mistake of thinking because you are 10 years old in church 10 years old in church does not mean you are changed that far your change is based on your hunger your change is based on the quality of the spiritual vessels that feed you and guide you i say this with all honor to the body of christ there are many assemblies and platforms where the members are hungry and thirsty but the problem is the vessel and the ill-prepared meal that they continue to be served with so you find people who are hungry they love god they want to learn but you see this is why god is going to judge us as preachers because one person mandated by god responsible for the holistic building of another person your personal carelessness can stunt the growth of someone for 10 years the problem was not his hunger or her hunger the problem is that what you are serving is absolute nonsense hallelujah there are children biologically speaking who now they've arrived that's the type of the new birth but then they are malnourished ill-nourished when you see them you you can almost tell that they are sick their skin is not fresh they have deficiencies of several minerals vitamins whatever it is when a good doctor meets these people the first thing is to begin to introduce them they study what is missing in your life basic biology and health science will teach us that there are all kinds of sicknesses that are related to the body and they can trace and tell you is the deficiency of vitamin c vitamin e oh your gums are bleeding you need to take more of this and that that's how it is spiritually so you can look at an individual and you look at his life please get the message i'm teaching you now understand it it will make you powerful and matured in the spirit you can study an individual and find out that based on your spiritual diagnosis there is the absence of the prayer ministry that means whoever mentored him did not emphasize the value and the power of prayer and priesthood as a tool for transformation so the person may be sincere but all he knows is just bible study when you say pray and you stretch five minutes he's looking at you and say ah, i was not trained like this oh five minutes is enough that's my contribution to my spiritual growth because the person who mentored him did not open him up experientially to the value of prayer are we together for another his problem may be that he's not learned the power and the supremacy of the word of god so he may pray but then you find out that he does not have respect and regard for the word of god why he will tell you the person who trained me did not emphasize the word of god 
when he came up on stage it was just stories and stories and i laughed and at the end of it we shared the grace that means members for want of word will be a reflection of the emphasis and the level of the seriousness of the spiritual leaders that train and build them do you agree with that when believers are not matured to be carnally minded the bible says is death is that in your bible it says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace how does a person metamorphose from being a natural man to a carnal man then to a spiritual man there are various stages the natural man is one who has not even met christ the carnal one is the one who has met christ but the workings of the spirit and the workings of the word has not yet found expression you see the difference now so the natural person that one he just needs jesus he needs to go to the cross there are many many carnal people in church unfortunately many of them because of the longevity of their stay have been appointed leadership positions and you will find out you know a carnal man by his perpetual disrespect for the supremacy of the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit these are the two indices that define true spirituality or otherwise i know you are carnal or spiritual to the degree to which i see your submission level to the word of god so you can be in the office for instance and you are a relative christian what did i call you uh, we were traveling and i was shown a very interesting video that i laughed they told somebody to choose i think a million dollars or the presence of god and he said no he's not worthy for that presence he is is the the money that when i saw that i said that's right <laughs> gave us a silly excuse i'm not worthy for the presence no are we together The cure for carnality is not counseling. No. The cure for carnality is not even deliverance like laying on of hands to cast out demons. The cure for counseling is that uh, the cure for carnality is an immersion into a system that brings you under the authority, the governing authority of the Holy Spirit and the word of god and let me tell you it takes a long time for that transition to happen anybody who tells you that he got born again i hope you know there is nothing called the gift of maturity all these believers who evolve out of nowhere and claim maturity no sir maturity even physically madam if you give birth to your child today and by the next day he's coming with a cup of water to give you will you drink it what is wrong with bringing a cup of water you are saying that child i gave birth to the child i've not even recovered myself and the child said good morning ma fluent english and he's giving you a cup of water no i mean there are natural things that don't make sense how do god can give you speed don't get me wrong god can give you speed but believe me there is no such thing as instant maturity god himself subscribed the path of maturity to process you know why so that you can build a pattern around it to help others to mature there are many when someone tells you i am a matured christian you don't need to argue what are the indices how do i know you are a matured christian i've been in church for a long time i handled bible study last year not necessarily those are not indices for maturity listen it is my prayer and i pray that god will open your eyes to see the burden in my heart my desire for you is to be so thoroughly sound and furnished not unto pride are you together now so that we you can do much for the kingdom just walk with me there's something i want to show you tonight many believers are not efficient tools 
as far as the revelation of Jesus and the advancement of the kingdom is concerned because they are largely ill prepared if you are a battle axe and you are blunt you have not been trained you will only be a casualty if taken to battle is that true? transformation discipleship is a word that many people hate and then there are others who say i want to grow at my pace i will feed myself and learn whatever i need to learn you see as a student respectfully speaking it is irresponsible to choose what you want to listen to is that true when a student gains admission you go and sit down in class trusting the teacher and trusting the system if the teacher fails you then the government that is responsible will punish the teacher but you don't get to the class there are many many courses in in our, our institutions of learning many students will call certain courses boring is that true and there are certain courses you call exciting there are certain courses that are maybe three four five credit units and there are others that are just one credit unit that means the emphasis is not the same Depending on what you are going to become there are times you sit down and you almost want to cry when will this course finish but you will sit down there but when we come to church most times we the bible calls it itching ears what is this one that is teaching on, on character or this now we've not had the message of favor in a long time is it that this man is not aware of what is happening in nigeria you sit down why don't you trust verify whether the teacher hears god verify whether the teacher loves you if so sit quietly and learn in the school of ministry we have several courses and finance is the last of them and usually you will understand when we start the course finance because there are many people if the first course is finance as soon as we are done you will graduate by yourself and say that's it may god bless you i think god has met my area of need <laughs> let me tell you why many believers don't grow properly we run around from pillar to post looking for what we want to hear what not what we need to hear are we together pastor can you teach about wickedness <laughs> why because you have a personal problem with somebody politically we convert your problem into a message are we together no yeah. oh. you don't come as a ministry listen you must be disciplined even as a man of god i'm saying this to ministers of the gospel if a church is looking for money that does not mean you change the curriculum and then this remember the holy spirit is called the lord of hosts he is the one who designs the growth pattern of the people are we together you don't just come and preach your need and say i think something is wrong we are going to emphasize this issue of money and giving for the next eight weeks i'm not being sarcastic it's important for you to understand that the believers need to grow holistically it's been my emphasis that if your growth does not capture everything meant for your holistic development let me tell you this when satan comes to attack you he does not just attack you he studies how the pattern of training that you have been submitted to if satan finds out that in your training prayer was the emphasized he will route through that area if satan finds out that prayer was exaggerated as against the word of god he will route through that if he finds out that the place of character was not taught you he will route through it if he finds out that success influence and other kingdom teachings were not captured in your experience he will leave you to keep practicing priesthood while he destroys you using the tools of need satan does not just attack like that so he comes to find a family that loves god sincerely consecration hunger but 
they do not know anything about the economic system of the kingdom he will fashion his he will want to attack their prayer life but he will not attack the prayer life by attacking prayer directly he will use the area of ignorance to so distract them to a point that the next time the man of the house says all right everybody let's come for prayer the wife will turn and say i don't know who this your god is but i'm tired of this thing and by the time the wife frowns at her husband he will go back and say god you had her me too i'm tired it's just i didn't say my own <laughs> are we together imagine a doctor that never went to anatomy class imagine a doctor that never went through surgery teachings and then you find yourself in a hospital and he says i want to help you you will not even pay come and lie down come and do what you just lie down and he carries an injection like a knife wanting to stab you who taught him that strategy the quality of believers that we are producing because of the kinds of things that we are teaching are we together it is important to touch the various areas and the various aspects of the the, the kingdom life but we must never de-emphasize or overemphasize the truths of the kingdom now i i submit to you that it's a very difficult thing difficult because every one of us is already given a dimension to function and the dimension you are given will usually be your emphasis that is where the need for the other dimensions of the body comes in god does not give you the labor to learn everything by yourself you can outsource the dimensions you do not have through humility and meekness that means god is training me in the prophetic so my own assignment will be consecration fasting and prayer i will not have the time to go and learn under you know a business school or learn under a financial mentor and god will save me that burden because there is somebody doing the work for me but i must honor the person to say listen while i was fasting and praying and rolling on the ground for one week god was dealing with you too i am not better than you simply because my training looks more spiritual i now submit to what you are doing please help those under the anointed one lecture from this guy who has spent five years learning the principles of the kingdom will now empower me in addition to what i have and then the guy too there is the side effect because for focusing learning about the economic system of the world as against his spiritual life he must balance it too and if he ignores me he will be wealthy but one attack on his life because he does not understand priesthood he can't defend himself one wrong investment motivated by the spirit of poverty can bring that man down are we together i'm coming back to this point let's go to the third level the third level and, I, and I, this is where i want you to pay attention to the third level is where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored but they are not connected to purpose let me tell you there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people revelation revelation and the people don't know what to do with it the body of christ is in trouble for this one is why many many men of god keep having headache when you get young people a young man a young lady you are teaching them about finances teaching them about prayer and fasting do you not know that knowledge has an implication the goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy by the time a man is fasting 100 days yet there is nothing for him to do in church are we together praying the kind of power that guy has one day he's going to say listen I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones that's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much 
and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose are we together so i'm praying every day with you i'm fasting every day with you you've now graduated from the school of ministry impartation every service you are falling down and standing up revelation after revelation a day will come knowledge is what will frustrate you not ignorance you will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry because the goal is to have expression something within you keeps crying for expression are we together that's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive help them please you are teaching someone how to drive his car you are teaching him how to do something and you leave him there the gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive one day what do you think is going to happen talk to me you did it so you know one day when he's not around you say listen uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive god never designed people to remain members forever listen listen just listen just listen when i say not to be members listen people don't have to be around you to be with you are we together now that means if god is training you and one day god gives you a job with african union or un you have become an extension of what we represent are, are we together the joy is to see that now the value for you ah i prophesied oh this thing i just said this is a prophetic word in the name of jesus christ please sit down this is the aspect that is missing in church and i say this respectfully speaking there is quality training quality mentorship training but there are no platforms so you find out leaders who should be changing society are dying with church fanatism nothing for them you see people who should change there are people who qualify to be governors leaders but they are not aspiring because they have not been taught that purpose is also spiritual <laughs> moses whereas you should be helping israel joseph you should be bringing solutions to the economic problems of israel whereas you are there quietly with a small life This is what this is why we are not able to translate our christian experience to a context that transforms society it is the reason why when you say you are a christian especially in africa most times they just look at you as if you are just a fanatic with no value to society is someone learning let me tell you this i have said it and i will say it again Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with the anointing. Preaching on the platform is not the only thing to do with revelation. If we don't mentor the younger generation properly, there will be trouble. Because when these guys are accessing light, it's important for them to know that the seven mountains are also platforms of ministry. 
so that the person who now is routing the part of politics and the one who is staying to become a national prophet they are doing the same thing in the realm of the spirit you cannot say the one who is at the altar is higher than the one who is in government no no without esther the jews would die are we together it took joseph manning the helm of affairs to preserve the purposes of god africa needs to understand the apostolic structure for kingdom advance i can tell you we have not yet captured that blueprint holistically that's why i took the time respectfully speaking to honor his majesty because of these kinds of apostolic understanding you imagine now respectfully speaking the kind of approach of leadership and governance to his territory africa i'm a man of prayer i'm a man of fasting and i'm a man of the word but i'm a man of the whole counsel of god there are many young people right now who are not supposed to be on the pulpit they are being on the pulpit is causing trouble to them and to others they know, they are not finding definition but the mentorship structure they have received has said once you are spiritual find a way of coming to stand here and they stand here yet they know joseph the, the, the throne is calling you daniel the place of governance is calling you esther you are fasting but realize that you are being called to the palace there will always be people like anna the prophetess their ministry stops at the temple they never go out of the temple if you take them out of the temple to be involved in secular things you have destroyed them they were called to stay they will stay and wait and jesus will still come to the temple and meet them this has been my concern by the privilege of god's grace i have studied many revivals i have studied a bit of the history of the church in nigeria i can tell you not to this is not the platform to start discussing it but some of the major moves of god in nigeria let me tell you this what killed them was a the emphasis of certain things there were those who came emphasizing the prophetic consecration prayer and then they didn't place emphasis on doctrine there are those who came i don't want to mention names respectfully speaking and the emphasis was just on doctrine and teaching and they de-emphasized the prophetic and prayer and both moves suffered by the time nigeria has only preachers i promise you that we are in trouble we did a bad job if a man of god produces only preachers then we're in trouble because one policy from our parliament can stop the purposes of god are we together i believe in influence i believe in the whole counsel of god men of fire but people who are sheep among wolves having the intelligence of the kingdom and even the wisdom of egypt listen i have studied territorial transformation by the grace of god and i can tell you the truth when jesus walked upon the earth we need to study the ministry of jesus the bible says that if you faith in the days of adversity your strength is small this video you just watch now we believe that it has increased strength in you and it has set body into your heart if you are new if you are new to this video please subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell to get daily uploads comments like this video and god will bless you thank you